In this video, we will show you Stockholm's food and drink scene. If you missed our things to do in Stockholm video, check it out via the link below. We will explore Stockholm's culinary highlights, from quick bites to gourmet experiences. Simona was staying in Stockholm for work, which led us to some fantastic quick eats near offices and co-working spaces. But Stockholm's food scene is a highlight itself. And of course, craft beer spots are also featured in this video, which is no surprise to our loyal followers. Speaking of which, we even went to a church in Stockholm, but one with a different type of service. So stay until the end to find out if our prayers for good food and beer were answered and if you want to become part of our own type of cult, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and check out our Patreon. Hello there original travelers, welcome to another video of ours and this time we are once again in Stockholm in Sweden and we will show you the best craft beer drink places and also best places for food in this great city. Don't forget to stay until the end to see where you can combine a great food experience with a very nice exhibition. Cheers everyone! Akurat is a name that resonates with beer lovers worldwide. Located on Hornsgarten, this bar regularly is featured on lists of the world's top beer bars. With 28 brews rotating on tap and a cellar boasting over 500 vintage beers, Akurat is a gem in Stockholm's craft beer scene. It's like a museum for beer lovers, except here the art is drinkable and no one yells at you for touching it. It's part of what we named the Slussen Craft Beer Triangle, which also includes Omnipoyas Hut and Stigbergets Fot, both of which we will visit later. We tried a juicy and tropical hazy double IPA from Omnipoyo and an outstanding Haute Sureau Tilquin à l'Ancienne, a lambic infused with elderberries. This one had a complex flavor profile with a delightful blend of tartness and floral elderberry. But Akorat is also famous for their Mule Frit. The mussels we chose were tender and savory, soaking up a flavorful broth with hints of garlic and strong notes of goat cheese. Sandro's steak tartare was another highlight, featuring finely chopped, well-seasoned beef with a creamy egg yolk, capers and onions. A true testament to classic, well-executed cuisine. Fika and Wine, opened in the summer of 2019 on Österland Garten No. 5, combines a rich history with modern dining. The cozy spot, located just a stone's throw from the royal palace, continues a culinary tradition dating back to 1788, when a Fruntimmer, an antiquated word for women, ran the very same premises selling barley and rice goat sausages for takeaway every day of the week. My visit here featured a refreshing Pilsner from Gotland's Brewery, and a tasty carrot cake. The Pilsner was crisp and clean, with a light bitterness that paired nicely with the rich, spiced flavors of the carrot cake, which was moist and packed with aromatic spices topped with sweet frosting. 
Stickberry at Spot, part of the Sluice and Craft Beer Triangle, offers 24 taps featuring experimental craft beers from their own brewery in Gothenburg, as well as guest beers from around the world. If you want to learn more about Stickberry at check out our Gothenburg videos linked below. This location that opened in February 2020 is a collaboration with Barrels Burgers and Beer. Not into beer? Then please sign up for Zurich Beer Tour immediately. But until then, no worries. They also serve self-imported wines from Chateau Pesquis. Among other brews, I enjoyed a hazy double IPA called Mega Muffin while waiting for Simona to finish work. After a second round of an amazing fruited sour, I almost forgot to pick up Simona because, well, priorities. But can you blame me if there is an Imperial Stout by Bottle Logic on tap? The staff here is amazing, so we ended up coming back in the evening for round two. We highly recommend the visit. Lettish Gelato offers flavors inspired by local Swedish ingredients and the chef's creative flair. This gelato spot features unique tastes like brown butter dulce de leche, rhubarb lime and butter fried apple cinnamon. Omnipoyo's Head is the place to be for those who love interesting beers and tasty pizzas. Each week, new beers and pizzas show up on the menu. This central location is the last part of the Slusen Beer Triangle and is known for its rotating selection of beers, innovative pizza toppings and flavorful combinations, such as spicy salami and truffle oil. We didn't get a pizza this time, but the sweet and acidic pina colada sour beer was almost like a dessert as it comes as a soft serve. Think of soft serve beer as your favorite brew transformed into a creamy delight, as the head comes from a slushy machine using the same beer. Have you ever had a soft serve beer? Tell us about your experience in the comments. And now we will show you why this area is a haven for craft beer lovers, with these three awesome beer locations in walking distance. So yeah, while well, uh, Simona is taking some uh, photos, I will tell you a little bit about the beer scene here. So as you have already seen in our Gothenburg videos, Sweden is a really good place for craft beer. Uh, a lot of people would say like UK is probably one of the best places for craft beer in Europe, but Sweden is really strong there, even though it's a bit difficult to buy stuff here. Yeah, you have to go to the state-run liquor stores, uh, which means you're sometimes a bit limited in options when you want to mm -hmm. uh, buy beers um, it's uh, because they have like their opening hours are not the best let's say you can buy any beers for takeaway on a Sunday for example on Saturday some of the smaller ones close at like three in the afternoon so if you want to have your beers uh, for your Airbnb or hotel be sure to get them earlier because breweries and bars are not allowed to sell you takeaway only for beers that are below 3.5 percent so yeah so be sure to uh, get your stuff early when you want to have your beers or wines or whatever alcohol is uh, over 3.5%. And uh, yeah, cheers everyone. Likkeni Torjet is a gem for coffee lovers and those who appreciate a cozy atmosphere. Likkes beans are sourced from plantations around the world and roasted in Berlin and obviously in Stockholm. I first visited alone, but brought Sandro back to share the experience. Whether you're enjoying brunch, a cocktail or a simple dinner, Likke offers a warm, welcoming space and delicious offerings that will make you want to linger.
The homemade iced and warm teas were refreshing and well crafted, complementing the dishes perfectly. The warm apple pie with ice cream was a standout, featuring a buttery crust and tender spiced apples that danced on the palate with notes of cinnamon and nutmeg. During our second visit, I tried a toasted croissant with fresh berries and creamy cheese, creating a great balance of flaky pastry, sweet tart berries and rich dairy. Sandro chose sweet and spicy chicken wings that were crispy on the outside with a tangy glaze that had a hint of heat and sweetness, making them super addictive. Omnipoyos Church in Sumniberi, which you can reach via the metro, is a unique spot where you can enjoy a beer in a converted church. It has been ranking high on Sandro's bucket list since it opened. The transformation from a place of worship to a brewery is both fascinating and fitting for this creative brewery. And Sandro still came here to worship the IPAs and Imperial Stouts brewed here. To pair with the beers, we had a classic smash burger with double beef patties, ketchup, mustard, pickles and cheddar, alongside loaded fries with cheese and chilies. The burgers were juicy with a perfectly seared crust and flavorful toppings, while the fries were cheesy and spicy, making them a great complement to the beers available. One of those is the 3 times 3 a collaboration with six American breweries. Chocolatey, sweet and with the viscosity of motor oil, this was exactly what you can expect from Omnipoyo. Oh, and also check out their merchandise vending machine. Yes, you heard that right. I obviously had to add a new brewery shirt to my collection. Take me to church! Again. By the way, we are always on the hunt for unique places like this one. Let us know if you have ever been to anything similar like Omnipoyos Church turned brewery. So guys, a uh, little heads up about the food scene here in Stockholm. It's obviously pretty good, it's a big city. Um, they have a lot of uh, good restaurants and street food and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, specifically Swedish cuisine, I don't think we taste a lot of like typical Swedish cuisine. We didn't eat a lot of schuttbollar. Um, but as it's an international city, they have a lot of like international places and yeah, a really cool place that you will see in this video. Uh, a lot of them are combined with beer uh, because actually the Swedes really like to have, when they have a, a beer bar or a brewery tap room, they like to have good food, which is really cool because in Switzerland, that's sadly not always the case. So that's really cool here. And do not forget to eat a lot of fish here. Obviously it is one of the best things to try over here. Um, we will show you a few good places, check them all out. Yeah, and, and eat shrimps. Shrimps are also good. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> As the name suggests, the fishery specializes in fish and seafood. The menu features simple yet delicious options like fish burgers, spicy salmon and fish tacos. The ingredients are fresh and sourced from local waters ensuring each dish is vibrant and flavorful. My visit here featured a spicy salmon and fish tacos during lunch and dinner visits. The spicy salmon was tender and perfectly cooked and very well combined with a crispy cauliflower, while the fish tacos were packed with fresh crunchy vegetables.
Babayan, located across from Orion Theater, offers a cozy and lively atmosphere with comfort food and a great selection of beers from around the world. Since 1996, Babayan has been serving up delicious meals in a, let's say, unique setting. But the beer here is great. The Duguest bourbon barrel aged imperial stout we tried was rich with deep notes of chocolate, coffee and bourbon and a smooth warming finish. All of this while listening to Latin tunes. What a unique spot. It's like your taste buds and your ears are partying in different time zones. Hidden in the Ringen shopping mall, Ramen offers a Swedish twist on ramen with locally sourced ingredients. The fully loaded ramen featuring roasted pork belly, creamy miso soup, Japanese napa cabbage and soy marinated eggs was a standout. The broth was rich and umami packed with a velvety texture, while the tender noodles and flavorful pork belly created a comforting and satisfying meal. Perfect for a quick yet hearty lunch. Run by Maria Torjets microbrewery, Tritonia Ölwerkstatt is dedicated to pouring unique brews, including their hazy double IPA V11 and their sour beer with dragon fruit and calamansi. The double IPA was rather light bodied, while the sour beer had a refreshing tangy kick with a fruity undertone. If you're hungry, they also serve burgers here. And if you're a craft beer lover, don't forget to book our Zurich beer tour via the link in the description below. Known for its contemporary photography exhibitions, Fotografiska also boasts an award-winning restaurant. My visit included an amazing starter plate with a delightful mix of snacks served in a sharing style, including among other things, pickled cucumber with smetana and honey, offering a refreshing and creamy balance. The main dish, a flavorful smoked fish with fennel, was perfectly cooked, delivering a smoky richness balanced by the fresh herbal notes of the fennel. To finish, the rhubarb and strawberry compote with vanilla mousse and buckwheat crisps provided a sweet and tangy end to the meal, perfectly highlighting the flavors of the season. For more on the museum, be sure to check out our previous video. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video from Stockholm in Sweden. And now, even after so much beer and food, please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can test even more good beer and food and also show you things to do around the world. Cheers everyone! Our bonus tip for food in Stockholm is CNC restaurant in the Old Town. A must visit for traditional Swedish dishes and game specialties. The restaurant, dating back to the early 17th century, offers a casual and friendly dining atmosphere with great open-air terrace in the summer. And yes, they serve great fish here too! <laughs>